fresh milk that you milk from the farm. You get it and uh, we have a, pro a program, a procedure of teaching people that have milk out there uh, how milk is converted into a creamy liquor. Uh, you get fresh milk, uh, we have some extracts, we have uh, an enzyme sucrose, it's called beta amylase sucrose. Uh, we mix it with uh, a whiskey that we've made from cocoa, uh, we've made with the flavoring of cocoa and kept for quite a good time. The, as we boil, we evaporate most of the milk waters off and uh, we mix in these enzymes. Uh, as we're mixing in the enzymes, the enzymatic sucrose, it allows the milk to blend with the liquor. So the biggest raw material that you need for this product is milk. And uh, after you've blended everything, you find yourself with an amazing product. And it's that simple. Because um, I'm thinking about those other people, uh, fine, not everyone takes milk. And because maybe of the doctor's advice that you're not supposed to take it and uh, we have threats of say brucella for some individuals if you're getting fresh from the farm so what happens when you get it like to preserve it uh, boiling it to which uh, kind of you know <laughs> you need to explain okay now as in the process of uh, production as we convert uh, milk into a creamy liquor most of the um, dangerous fats are separated off and uh, uh, this is a product that's no longer like a diary product, like direct diary to give you the symptoms, the side effects of, of infection, but uh, for the business meaning of what I'm trying to teach people, uh, we've done research and at least uh, 800,000 US dollars of Baileys and Amarula is imported into the region, into the country, and most of that is imported every quarter of a year. That's talk. And it's consumed in the West. These guys don't know that they are taking milk. They just love that test, but it's connected to their mother test for milk. Yeah. So I'm very sure that if a Ugandan goes ahead and comes and we teach them how to make this product, even from small scale, the smallest possible scale. Last time I told you here, we shared, and I said that someone can even start a production line with 200,000 shillings. I have an example to show that as we are producing the milk in the, in the video, that you have your own home gadgets. As long as you have the desire to start, you can start and have something to sell that has value. Because guess what? Even two liters of milk, you can start and make a a bottle then sell it to your neighbor <laughs> you give them a sample then you can develop and make 410 blah 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 so what happens uh, the, uh, the entire process itself how long does it take if, if i'm making it from home yeah, if you're making it from home the production time is about seven hours well as the production time of any other type of wine is about seven months so it's very very advantageous it makes a lot of business sense all the Starting with the um, 2,100 shillings yes. for, for my liters of milk, yes. then um, out of it, after yes. adding value, then I'll earn like 80,000 yes, in, in seven hours. Yes.